Hey guys, John Ojaka here from MusicMarketingManifesto.com and in today's video I'm going to share a strategy with you that you can use to basically um, target Facebook users with similar demographic profiles to your existing fan base uh, using Facebook ads. And obviously this is important because um, targeting is everything, especially when you're engaging in, in paid advertising. You can't afford to miss, you can't afford to uh, waste your ad spend on too broad of a market. And many musicians I find are simply not quite clear uh, you know, who their ideal customer or their ideal fan actually is. They're, they're not sure what likes and interests they have. They're not necessarily even sure what kind of music they like. Well, fortunately, Facebook has made the whole process a lot easier for us with a new tool that they've rolled out uh, as part of the what seems to be a, um, a, a suite of products coming out through their Power Editor. If you're not familiar with it, Power Editor is just a, uh, well, it's a, it's a, ad editor that is available only through Chrome. It's sort of more of an advanced feature. If you've only sort of played around a little bit with Facebook, you probably haven't used it. Um, but I'm going to show you how to use it. It's, it's actually very simple to create something that Facebook calls a look-alike audience. And that essentially means that they allow you to upload user information. This could be email addresses, this could be unique user IDs, uh, or it could be phone numbers. Now for most of us this is going to be email addresses. If you've been paying attention to anything that I teach for any amount of time then you know how important I think an autoresponder is. If you don't have one, you need to get one, you can go to musicmarketingmanifesto.com forward slash autoresponder. That'll take you to the, the company that I personally use and it'll take you to a dollar free trial. An autoresponder is simply an email management system and it's really the muscle of any well-constructed online marketing campaign and, and without it you're going to be kind of dead in the water in my opinion because as I often say uh, your sales are going to be in direct proportion to the size of your your mailing list uh, if you use any kind of direct response marketing tactics which is what I focus on and what I teach. Um, and nevertheless assuming you do have an, a, a mailing list you have been collecting email addresses hopefully you've been using something like Aweber again the company that I use they allow you to segment your list between customers and general prospects and so in other words once somebody orders I automatically move them to a customer list and unsubscribe them from my general prospect list and that's particularly important in this instance because what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a look-alike audience of our customers. You don't necessarily want to go and create a look-alike audience of people who've just simply signed up for a free track. You want to create a look-alike audience of people who've actually bought. So essentially Facebook can take that information that you upload, those email addresses, and it can look for patterns and compare them against their user base of now over a billion users and find uh, other people who have similar likes and interests and similar things in common. And there are a couple of ways you can do it. And again, uh, I got a lot of information to show you, so I'm just going to kind of jump right in here and show you how to do it. So the first thing we want to do obviously is go to Facebook and you're going to want to go to your uh, ad management panel and let's see you come here um, where is that damn window you click on that you click on uh, manage ads now one important thing you're gonna actually need and, and I think this is a bit odd you're gonna need Chrome to use a uh, power editor which is the editor that uh, you, you need in order to create a lookalike audience um, it doesn't work if you have Firefox or Explorer or any of these other browsers. I'm not really sure why they did it this way. Um, not sure if this is a, a permanent problem or if this will change at some point. And again, I think it's really odd for such a massive platform to limit you to one browser. Nevertheless, that's the way it works. You need to have Chrome. If you don't, this won't work. So if you don't have Chrome installed, you want to go install that if you're interested in um, implementing this strategy. We come over here to the left hand side uh, bar. Obviously, if you haven't yet set up your uh, ads account, there may be a few prompts that you need to walk through. Uh, if you've never done it before, I obviously have, so uh, everything is already up and running. We're going to click on Power Editor in the left hand side bar there, and that's going to take you to the screen that you see in front of you now. Now, again, if you haven't created the uh, set up the power editor yet there'll be a prompt there there are a few steps for you to walk through you need to download it and install it it's actually all quite easy so once we've done that we're gonna come up here to audiences and click on that you can see I've been playing around with it I have a few test lists uploaded um, and we're gonna click on create an audience and click on custom audiences now let's name this let's call this um, test 2 description whatever you want it to be 
Uh, now we need to choose a file. Um, skipping ahead, actually, for just a second, you see here we got email addresses, unique IDs, and phone numbers. However, the information that most of us are likely to have will be email addresses. So that's what we're going to use. Now um, we need to sort of put this on pause while we get that list together. If you're using AWeber, um, and really any major autoresponder should look uh, and work fairly similarly. Uh, we're going to come here to any list. I've probably got about 30 lists right now, so uh, I've just selected one of them. And we're going to run a, let's see, a search with nothing selected because we want everybody. Let's pretend uh, that this is just a customer list of people who have bought my album. That That's ultimately who uh, we want here. And, you could theoretically create a lookalike audience off of people who have subscribed to your uh, newsletter and there almost certainly still be some value there however it's really those buyers that we're after obviously because uh, you know return on investment is the name of the game so um, you can see here and I'm probably gonna blur some of this out because their email addresses displayed and I want to protect people's privacy um, but if I can only find that number, I've got 8,000 uh, people in this particular list. So I am going to come down here and export as a CSV. Okay, looks like it's downloaded. I'm going to open that up. And again, I'm going to blur stuff out to protect people's privacy if necessary once I look back over this thing. Uh, and you can see I've got a whole bunch of information. So what we want to do is simply take column A, that's our list of email addresses. We're going to copy that. I'm going to open up a text file. Technically, you can do it in a CSV file, but sometimes it causes problems, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to save this as anything uh, we want to call it. Let's just call this test uh, list. Save it again to my desktop. Let's close all this stuff up. Okay, now we uh, come back here, come back to choose a file. Let's look for that file, test list, and click create. Okay, um, it, it'll give you some of these invalid email uh, errors occasionally. That just means like I probably had either the word email uh, because I forgot to delete that at the top of the column, something like that, or duplicates and a million different problems that can come up. But you see here it read 8,077 emails, again, in this particular list. Um, there we go. Um, your audience has been uploaded. It may take up to one hour for it to be available for targeting. Click on check updates to refresh the status. So we close that and we can see that our test list here is uploaded. It's still uh, processing so you don't have any size information. You can see that it still says waiting. If you want to uh, check for updates you just click click uh, check updates and eventually uh, everything will be uploaded and processed. So let's use another uh, list that I created just for example purposes. Let's say we want to create our lookalike audience. Now we've uploaded our customer data. Now we click on one of those uh, and a little pop-up window appears here with some information and now we want to click create similar audiences. Now they only allow you to target one country at a time so I would personally start with the United States um, because that's where my core audience is. Uh, however, if you, let's say you um, had people that you wanted to reach in multiple countries, what you would do is create multiple similar audiences. And when I show you how to s create your ad, you would simply select from a multiple lists. Um, so um, you have two options here, optimize for similarity or greater reach. Now, if you select greater reach, your pool is going to be bigger. If you select similarity, it's going to be more precise. So honestly, you, you would need to split test to see which um, selection got you the results you were ultimately looking for. Obviously, if you can make greater reach work, then that would be better because it would be more people. However, you may find that it's just not converting uh, well enough and you need to go with similarity. So it might be a good idea to start with similarity, see how that performs for you. And if it's doing really well, you could create another similar audience using greater reach and see how far off those conversion rates were. And again, if you're totally new with me uh, and you're not familiar with the term conversion rate, it just simply means the ratio in which people convert into subscribers or customers. So if 100 people come to your website and uh, 10 of them sign up for your mailing list, you've got a 10% conversion rate on your opt-in form. If uh, two of those people ultimately buy, then you've got a 2% conversion rate on sales. So just a little um, bit of info there. And once we select whatever option we'd like and enter the appropriate country, we click Create. And there you go. And again, it is still processing, but you can see here Facebook gave it a name for us, a test list, lookalike, US similarity, and uh, it is still processing. So now when we want to create an ad, we simply 
go back to uh, our Facebook ad manager click create ad and you would scroll through all of these options and um, create all of the you know the the ad as you normally would let's uh, see let's just pick a, something um, just for fun so I can get the additional options up and you see these options here you can advertise to get more likes promote page post I'm gonna go with advanced options you would fill out your ad copy uh, your country uh, age all, all the typical stuff but when we come down here and you see all of the audiences we've created and we've got test lookalike US similarity that's what we just created now um, obviously Facebook is still processing it and we can't yet see what our reach is but that's about as simple as it goes and then you you just proceed with creating your ad like normal and set your bid price and all of those different things that you would normally do in creating an ad and now again what Facebook's going to do is they're gonna look at your audience because you've uploaded a whole bunch of email addresses not every single one is gonna correspond to a Facebook account but in most cases they they will uh, certainly you'll have a good sample Facebook will look at, for similarities within those user profiles and then find a wider audience of people or in most cases a wider audience of people uh, that have similar profiles so without knowing really anything about your audience without needing to survey them without needing to make a whole bunch of guesses as to what they're all about you can essentially clone your audience and expand your reach uh, and that is ultimately the goal of every every artist so I think this is a really cool tool again please be aware that whenever you are engaging in paid advertising there are risks you may lose money um, you need to have a well-oiled sales funnel if you're going to profit and that's obviously something that we focus on in music marketing manifesto and in the insider circle um, but more on that for another day uh, that's it for this lesson hope you enjoyed it again John Ojaka from musicmarketingmanifesto.com thanks for watching